I'm going to teach you guys how to get your band's music on TV. If you've ever thought about getting your music on TV, you need to check out these tips. Landing TV placements can earn you good money and can also drastically increase your fan base. I'm going to show you three different ways that you can get your band's music on TV. The first way to get your music on TV for your artist music is to pitch directly to music supervisors. This method requires some research. If you have a specific type of music that is very close to the music that is used on a specific TV show, then you could research who the music supervisor is for that show and you can try to reach out to them directly. You can find music supervisors on websites like IMDB or LinkedIn. When you reach out to the supervisor, send them a brief yet personal message with a link to your song on SoundCloud or Disco or something like that. Don't send them any links to music to download. They're probably not gonna download that. They get a lot of emails from people like you all the time, people like us. Only do this method if your music is very specifically geared to one specific show or um, a series of shows that this music supervisor works with. If you spam music supervisors, that's a quick way to get blacklisted. You don't want to do this. You don't want to burn bridges, especially early on. If they are interested, they will let you know. If they're not interested, it's likely that they won't even respond. Some, Hopefully they do, but the nature of the business is that so many people are spamming their music to all, all kinds of people hoping to get their music on TV. TV. So it's just not feasible for them to reply to every single thing. And after you do submit music to them, definitely don't reach out to them for a long time until you have more music and you don't want to bother them again, you know, for the same reasons. The pros and cons of pitching to music supervisors. The pros, you keep the publishing share for these placements. And this could be, this method is potentially the quickest turnaround. Cons, requires some research, it can be time consuming, and you're probably the least likely to get a response. Method number two is working with a sync agent. Sync agents are people who work directly with music supervisors and clients, other clients. You can do some research to find a sync agent that represents the type of music that you do. Sync agents will most likely have a wider range of opportunities compared to music supervisors. Music supervisors are working with one show or maybe a couple of shows. Sync agents are going to work with a variety of people who have different positions. Sync agents are likely going to take a percentage of the sync fee when you work with them. So that's something to consider. Using a sync agent is more of a long-term game. They'll probably uh, hold on to your music and save it for a rainy day, basically. If once an opportunity comes up where they think they can use it, they will try to pitch it and see if you can get it placed. They'll basically keep the music in their database until the, the right fit opportunity comes up. The pros for working with a sync agent, you keep the publishing share, most likely. I wouldn't do the deal if they are taking some of the publishing share because they're not a publisher. There's a wider audience than you would get uh, working with a music supervisor. So potentially more opportunities. Cons, research is required again for this one. Uh, another con is they split the sync fees with you. Hopefully they're not taking too much of a percentage, uh, maybe 30% or something. And this can be a potentially long-term game working with a sync agent. So that those are the cons. The third method is to work with boutique non-exclusive libraries. This is opposed to royalty-free libraries such as Pond5, Audio Jungle, and um, you know Motion array and vital elements and things like that boutique libraries are more geared towards tv placements the other types of libraries are usually for youtubers maybe wedding videographers things like that in this day and age there's only a handful really of non-exclusive boutique libraries like this so you'll have to do a little bit of research to find them find some libraries like these and submit your music to them they typically want vocal music for these boutique libraries okay so instrumental might work but we're talking about band and artist music. This kind of music lends itself more to TV placements as opposed to stock libraries, which mostly are going to want uh, instrumental cues. Music libraries have the biggest range of clients compared to submitting directly to a supervisor or working with a sync agent. This is also the most likely method to get multiple TV placements for the same songs. Once you submit the music, they are selective, these libraries, but hopefully you can get if you submit five songs or whatever, they can get one or two into their catalog. Once they receive the music, they'll start pitching it. They'll say it'll be kind of like a sync agent. They'll save it for when it's needed. Uh, you never know when a certain opportunity is going to come up where they need your specific type of music. And there's also some exclusive libraries that will take artist music on a non-exclusive basis. If you ever come across these libraries, make sure to remember them, write them down, save them for when you have more vocal music. The contract for artist music with an exclusive library will be different than the contract would be for 
exclusive libraries where they're working with queues. Regardless of whether it's exclusive or non-exclusive for this stuff, uh, they're most likely going to take the full publisher's share of the royalties on the back end. This is only for placements that they acquire. If you got a placement elsewhere with the same music, that library won't take any cut of it. Pros of working with music libraries, bigger audience base, no research required other than finding the libraries. So I guess there's some research required. You're most likely to get a response from music libraries compared to music supervisor or sync agent is probably in the, in the middle. The only con I can think of is that they take the publisher's share and they'll take half the sync fees most likely. 50-50 deal for music libraries is standard. So those are your three different methods for getting your band's music on TV or your artist music. And here's the best part. You can actually do all three of these methods. You can submit the same music to a non-exclusive library and to a music supervisor if you know the specific show and to a sync agent. That's the beauty of non-exclusive music. You can put the same music with multiple non-exclusive libraries because they're non-exclusive. You can pitch it directly to supervisors and so on. Using all of these methods will increase your chances of getting placements. Of course, there's no guarantee that your music will get placed on a TV show. It's dependent on many factors. Your music has to be good. <laughs> it has to be syncable, which means that it probably gets straight to the point. There's not a lot of instrumentals and solos and stuff. So a lot of uh, bands out there, frankly, just the music isn't that good. Or maybe the singer's not really good or the music just drags on it. Like if you're a jam band, it's probably not going to be syncable, really. These are things to consider. If you have like pop oriented or, you know, a typical first chorus song that's that's a good bet you have to have good quality music good songs that are syncable and somebody out there needs to be seeking music like yours and the stuff usually doesn't happen overnight it might take years it's not uncommon but if somebody at some point is looking for music like yours they come across yours and they like it it's good mix good master they like the singing they like the lyrics the lyrics are important for um for fitting for TV placements because they don't want uh, lyrics that have nothing to do with what's going on on screen. You have to have relevant topics that you're talking, singing about. Along those lines, you don't want to be too specific like, oh, I met this girl named Maria and she was uh, uh, a waitress or something like, no, you got to be a little more vague with the lyrics. You want to be like, we, we were going out, it didn't work out and this and that. Like too specific will basically hinder its syncability. But at the end of the day, if you have great music and it's all, everything's there, you've got a good shot. So best of luck to you guys. I hope you guys all get some uh, TV placements with your music and we will see you in the next video. By the way, guys, I also offer one-on-one -on -one sync licensing virtual courses. You can check them out on my website, check out the details. Link is in the description. Classes can cover whatever you want, such as mixing critiques, how to submit to libraries, how to compose music for TV, mixing, and mastering techniques, finding music libraries, and much more. So sign up today.